Diving safety is a matter of thinking ahead, of taking the necessary precautions for what might happen below. Everything must fit properly. A slip up above could mean death down below. Now the diver is dressed. The faceplate is closed. The tender signals that it's time to go. The diving suit is inflated now. It's heavy and it's awkward. And as you go over the side, you hang on to the ladder with all of your might. A fall here could mean disaster. A sudden change in pressure crushing the diver's body up into the helmet with all the force of a battering ram. The last rung of the ladder. You reach for the descending line. Then let it slide between your fingers as the real descent begins into that green world of water. The weight of the equipment pulls you downward. And the pressure of the water becomes greater, squeezing your body like some great clammy hand. Then suddenly, the bottom. And you're there. In the world beneath the sea, shades of blue and green, with here and there a splash of more vivid color. The bolder denizens of the deep stare curiously into the helmet faceplate. Then there's a flurry of small fish banding together to confuse the hungry predator. Here's where you're glad you brought that knife along. Porpoises. Unearthly noises welling up from that other realm, adding new mystery to the world around us. The world about which Job wrote more than 3,000 years ago. Ask now the beasts, and they shall teach thee, and the fowls of the air, and they shall tell thee, or speak to the earth, and it shall teach thee, and the fishes of the sea shall declare unto thee. Who knoweth not in all these that the hand of the Lord hath wrought this?